Hey, it's Lane with Techno Maverick, and today I'm going to be showing you some underused but incredibly useful keyboard shortcuts. All right, so let's start off by talking about virtual desktops. So these are new to Windows 10, at least natively, but you can have multiple desktops, each of which can have their own applications living on them to kind of keep your different types of applications open in different areas, uh, keeps things organized. I really, really enjoy doing that. So there are a few different keyboard shortcuts that relate to those. So the first one is Windows key plus control plus D. When you press that, it creates a new desktop. So of course you can create the new desktop from this screen and just click that button. But if you are on a screen already, Windows key, control key, and D will go ahead and create a new one and shift you over to that. Windows key plus control plus F4 will close the desktop that you are currently on. And if we do that out from this view, you can see what that looks like there as well. Now Windows key plus control plus the left or right key will go ahead and switch you or cycle you through the open virtual desktops. Windows key plus print screen will take a screenshot. Windows key plus A will open the action center. Windows key plus I will open the modern settings application. Windows key plus S will bring up Cortana and enable you to immediately start typing without needing to move your mouse cursor in there to select that area. Windows key plus C will send Cortana into listening mode. Windows key plus Q will show the Cortana home screen. So that will show you any uh, updates that you have rolling in there. Windows key plus E will open the file explorer. If you are on a mobile device, Windows key plus O will stop the device from auto rotating. Windows key plus P will bring up the project settings. So if you do have multiple displays attached, you can go ahead and decide what to do with those. Windows key plus D will minimize all open apps, not close them, but just minimize them. Windows key plus H will open up the share charm. And if you're not in an app that has a specific share feature available, it will share a screenshot. Windows key plus K will bring open wireless sharing settings or wireless projection settings if there is a Miracast enabled device nearby. Windows key plus L will lock your device very quickly. So if you wanna be able to uh, lock your computer if you're walking away from it without needing to navigate down here, um, then that is a quick way to do that. Windows key plus T will show app previews in the taskbar, which you can then cycle through with the directional keys. If you're in a web browser and you need to navigate forward or backward, let's go ahead to google.com just to show how this works. Uh, the Alt key plus left will automatically take you back. Alt key plus right will take you forward. Windows key and the plus icon will open the magnifier and then enable you with the plus and minus keys to go ahead and zoom in and out. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this.